It's been awfully quiet since we left the movie. Did you really like it? Oh, yeah, I thought it was brilliant. Just makes me wonder if all men go through a midlife crisis. Oh, I'll let you know when I get there. Grace, you're not really worried I'd ever look at another woman, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> of course not. Good. <laughs> Hey, look, it's the kids. Hey, Kay. Hey, Mom. Jessica. Dad. Hi, sweetie. Mom. Hey, girl. What's up, Reese? So cute. <laughs> hey, you know, I've got an idea. Why don't we join the kids? No, 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 let's not. I don't want to share you with anyone tonight, including the kids. Mm. <laughs> you know, I have heard this song since... Since we first started going out? <sighs> you had them put this on. You still like it as much as you used to? <sighs> Grace, honey, what's wrong? Look, Sam, I have a confession to make. Okay. Whatever it is, I forgive you. Look, Sam, don't tease. I'm not kidding. <sighs> Look, I am married to the most wonderful man in the world, and I have this beautiful healthy family and I should be thanking God every day for the wonderful gifts he's given me but instead all I can think about is seeing Ivy Crane in your arms on New Year's Eve <laughs> you're still thinking about that I know it's silly and it's just because of this crazy article that Kay read that said the stroke of midnight on New Year's is Whoever's arms you're in is who you're going to spend the rest of the year with. Well, then you tell that to your best friend, Eve. I mean, she was in Julian Crane's arms at midnight. <laughs> and Kay was in Miguel's arms, and we all know that Miguel is crazy about charity. So you see how ridiculous it is? <sighs> that is why I'm so ashamed hey, of these feelings. Don't be. Just know that I love you so, so very much. <laughs> And you have nothing to be jealous of. Nothing at all. Well, how lovely to run into some friends. I was getting rather lonely with Julian out of town. Oh, well, where is he? No, oh, away on business as usual. <laughs> well, Ivy, why don't you join us? Are you sure you don't mind? Well, actually, I was just telling Grace how much I treasure the time we spend alone. And you live a very full life, I'm sure you understand. But still, we would love to have your company. <sighs> wouldn't we, Sam? <sighs> no, no, I wouldn't uh, dream of intruding on your private time. No, I just came here to look for a good book anyway, huh? Enjoy your evening. Thanks. Sam, why did you do that? You just told me how you felt about uh, Ivy. No, Sam, I like Ivy. I mean, it's not her fault that I have this ugly, jealous streak. Look, I know that it was just an accident that she fell into your arms on New Year's Eve. But I just hope that we didn't hurt her feelings. <laughs> Believe me. Ivy would have done the same thing in our shoes. You think so? Hey, I was just telling the truth. I want to be alone with you tonight. All night. All night, huh? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to give a call down to the station and warn them not to beat me unless someone is stealing the town. Mm. Ivy... I just wanted to apologize. Sam didn't mean to be rude. Ah, uh, no, 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 not at all. I, I completely understand you wanting to be alone. I'm crying. Uh, uh, must be quite a book. Ah, uh, it is. It's very, very powerful. Oh, let me guess. It's a love story. Yes. It's a triangle about a woman who's lost love and is desperate to find it again. So you read it already? Yes, I have, but it was very meaningful to me, and I'm thinking of reading it again. <laughs> How does it end? Are you sure you want to know? Oh, 
Oh, well, it's not like I have time to read any books these days. So you won't be spoiling anything for me. Well, one woman ends up crushed and miserable and alone, and the other one finds happiness. Ah, the woman that the reader is pulling for, no doubt. Well, maybe you should read it for yourself and find out. Oh, well, maybe someday. It's funny, though, in real life, isn't it? I mean, you can't help but feel for someone who's lost a real love. Someone who has to go through life with a crushed heart. Bah, but you and I are the lucky ones, right? <laughs> Married to the men we love who love us right back. <sighs> Your father and I will be home in a few minutes. Okay, Mom. Oh, by the way, we have a new addition to our family. A fish.